Hello everyone, it's Matthew here at Wizard World New Orleans Comic Con with the NOLA Nerdcast here with cosplay great Riddle, aka Ricky, from Riddle's Messy Wardrobe. How are you today? I'm doing really well. It's uh, it's almost the end of day one, so yes. it's kind of been a blur. Is this, I mean, I didn't even know you were coming. That's why when I walked by and saw you, it was just kind of a nice surprise. How did you like come across all of this? Uh, basically, uh, Wizard World reached out to me and asked if I wanted to be a guest, so they invited me down and they said, you know, will you judge your costume contest? Will you run some panels? Nice. So it's really great to get that opportunity to like come back last year because of the show I didn't really get to experience much of the convention because it was filming and then competing and now like I kind of get to take all the awesomeness in. Now you just get to actually enjoy it a little yes. bit more. Okay. Yeah the first thing I ever saw you in is uh, Dr. Mrs. the Monarch from Venture Brothers which was is just. Video? Was it the video or was it a photo? It was just a photo like oh. I just kind of came it was someone did a, like a compilation like best cosplay of the week or something oh. and you were in it and it just kind of led to checking all your stuff out. Cosplay is awesome. Yeah, and now you're rocking an Assassin's Creed. That's right. I am player number three of Unity. No, everyone's like, you're Etsy, and I'm like, no. No. They're like, you're Kenway. I'm like, no. I actually wasn't sure if you were Unity because you aren't, like, glitched out on me or oh, anything. Oh, yeah, my face isn't all, like, jinked <laughs> just, up. Just an eyeball <laughs> yeah. in the air. Someone, like, I post, I'll be wearing Assassin's Creed. They're like, are you, wear are you wearing this? It's the girl's face that you saw where it's all, like, eyeballs. Yeah. Like, the things nightmares are made of. Seriously, it's so creepy, <laughs> but it came out very nicely. Oh, so is this you. a debut, or? No, actually, uh, Monica Lee and I debuted at San Diego oh, nice. uh, after they announced Unity and they had the, you know, the four guys on the cover. We were going to do a group, but only two of us managed to get it done. So we're like, well, we're in this Everywhere. at San Diego. So, like, Ubisoft had a really big presence there, and they were really cool to let us get photos on the parkour course. Yeah, that yeah. Sounds, that's right. I remember the parkour <laughs> course. That was a really fun that event thing. Cool. They wa they were like, do you want to do it? I'm like, no, in heels. I would yeah, have enough. No, it was hard enough without heels. Yeah, exactly. I would be like, that would be a hot mess. <laughs> so I noticed that your banner here is uh, Soul Calibur. Yeah, I love that's Soul awesome. Calibur. That's... Man, I remember when it was Soul Edge. Right? Dreamcast. Man, I played the arcade. Oh. In a, in a universe, it was like a I'm banner. thinking Soul Blade. Soul... Soul... No, was it Soul Edge? I don't know. Oh my gosh, I do know Soul Calibur. <laughs> no, no, I think you do. I think I'm the one messing up, which, you know, it happens. It happens. That's what happens yeah, when you I, do it live. I was like always playing Taki. That was, I loved her. Taki and Tira are my favorite. Tira, I, when they announced her, I think it was for three or four. Yeah. Her design was so cool. Oh my gosh. But yeah. I think you're the first person I've ever seen like professionally cosplay her. Oh, That's really cool. No, I've seen a couple really, really good versions. I love like seeing everybody's different take on it. Like, um, you know, some people painted the stripes, and it's just the thing I like is like I I cosplay the characters that I I enjoy. So I enjoy seeing other people do them too. Like I'll fangirl out on like exactly. Even if I like see another tier and I'm dressed as tier, I'll be like, that's so cool. So. See, that was my next question: is how do you decide what your next uh, outfit's gonna be? But it obviously it stems from things you personally enjoy. Oh, totally. Like I have to have like either like the design or like the character, and that's basic. Because if you're gonna spend so much time and money on something, you have to kind right. of be passionate in some way either like I want to be this character or this character is exactly like me so and otherwise it shows if you just don't care enough like when you have a passion for it it kind of just comes out in the costume and how you portray I think it really I think it really does help you you really want to do a really good job I mean I always tell people I'm like even if you do a group always pick a character that you would want to do on your own because there's no guarantee the group is going to stay together right. at all times so imagine they they leave after an hour would you still wear the costume if the answer is yes then that is a great especially character. a giant event like san diego oh my gosh yeah you're going to lose people like oh, like it's a, impossible that. not to <laughs> thank you so much for taking the time yeah. i know you have a panel to get to uh, now, is there anything that you can tell our viewers about where to find you, either social media-wise or anything you want to leave people off with? Yeah, sure. Uh, you can find me on uh, Facebook on Riddle's Messy Wardrobe. And then also on Instagram and Twitter, I'm under Riddle, but it's R-I-D-D-1-E. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who's followed me. I started doing this over 14 years ago. I didn't imagine it would lead to getting invited to cons, being across from a zombie girl, crawling underneath a car, freaking people out. I know, right? And it's just been a really crazy and ride, and I'm forever grateful that it's, I mean, it's really something to be able to continue doing something I love. And even if every convention stopped, I would still cosplay. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Well, you so Your costume much. came out I'll wonderfully. Oh, okay. always. What? First, first official cosplay hug of the convention. That's how you know it's a winner. And it's if, it, from here. if you're here, swing by her booth. She's got a ton of great prints out that you can buy or just take photos with her. She's just a super awesome person. Thank you so much. Thank you.